What is up guys? My name is Thaddeus and in today's video, well first of all, happy Halloween. Today is Halloween. If you celebrate Halloween, happy, happy Halloween! Um, today's video, we're gonna talk about why you might suck at drop shipping, alright? And the six reasons that I've kind of narrowed down that are, that all play like super, 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 super important like factors in the whole, you know, whether your site and Shopify store in general is making money, right? So there's six kind of main fundamental reasons that I want to talk about and touch on in this little quick video that um, we'll be hopping into. First thing I want to say is, um, well, tomorrow I'm leaving for uh, for LA and then Vegas for the meetups, guys. So those you can RSVP down below if you want to go there. And then the course, guys, you can get $400 off for the next few, like week or so. Uh, I, I, I'm going to increase it. I just don't know when. Depends on these new projects that I'm working on with my business partners that are actually going to be at the meetup in Las Vegas. So check that out again, guys. But those two links are in the description. And um, the mastermind is open now for those of you that were able to hop in um, and got accepted congrats we'll be working together now on like a super personal level for those of you that are interested or considering it you can always just submit an application down below um, on my business website and um, I'll see you guys there but let's get started with the video okay let's go Your number one right in in why you might be terrible at dropshipping or why your site is not working right? I'm not saying you're terrible but your site might be terrible or your store in general okay I'm not saying your actual website the store might be terrible right one how did you source your products guys I, I made a video on this recently I touched on it but again it's like how are you actually finding your products? Okay, you don't want to just have something in your head throw it on your site and then attempt to find a market for the product Right again, you got to work backwards. Okay, so again, how did you source your product? Okay, D did you go and find competitors? Did you go and find influencers to help market your product? Okay, how do you find competitors is by finding those influencers? Okay, because if you can find those influencers again in my course always plug I always stress that you need to find competition okay when you find competition you usually are looking at it through influencers because I market everything through Instagram when I start off okay so what that means is when you're finding those competitors you're finding your marketing outlets those marketing outlets those influencers that you're finding that's where you'll see whether or not a product is selling okay because if you see a lot of shout outs shout out ads right for a specific product then you 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 can basically assume that okay that company is buying lots of shout outs which means they're generating some sort of return on investment you want to find influencers you want to use those influencers to find competitors okay competitors around a product you're thinking of selling but you haven't actually put on your site yet and like spent money and time invested into marketing a product that you don't know is going to sell okay you want the market to tell you what's going to sell okay again it's drop shipping you're not reinventing the wheel uh, again drop shipping is so easy to get into guys that literally if you can find someone killing the game and find a way to do it better more efficiently or more affordably for like for consumers or for your clients and stuff like that you can win you can win okay it's 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 a simple process but there's so many small little complicated factors in it that that's where people usually trip up okay so that is rule number one is how are you sourcing your products like, like what is your strategy for finding those products that are gonna sell okay because again you can have a good website you can have good marketing but if your product is just not attractive for the clients and for the like the marketing avenues that you're that you're attempting to market them through you're not gonna get sales all right uh, fact number two your marketing funnel okay I also talk about this a lot because I think it's the most important factor in dropshipping is how you market your site and how you market um, to like to get eyeballs to your website right so again Instagram influencers that's how I market my websites that's how, that's how I start off I use them for an entire month um, while I have a Facebook pixel on my site collecting data and then I scale up with Facebook ads that is my cycle that's what I stick to like very firmly again when I'm ever whenever I'm starting a new site that's literally the process I don't I don't question I don't second guess I don't be like alright this time I'm just gonna start Facebook ads because I don't personally like to waste money especially like trying to guess my demographic or guess my audience or wherever where like where I'm coming at with that again that's kind of the marketing funnel and in that funnel in the whole Instagram funnel guys I have a whole video on just the Instagram funnel because it's so important again you can just click down my channel uh, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already oh god that was a voice crack that was, oh I'm 20 and I'm still not fully out of puberty but again your marketing funnel that that has a bunch of different factors again all these all these all these dropshipping stuff like there's so many small factors in it. okay like one how how are your visuals when you do shout outs two how is your ad copy on the captions um are you losing are you losing customers like in the, in the visuals in the caption are you using customers because when they hit your instagram business page um it just looks like shit or you don't have enough posts or you're not that engaged or there's not enough social proof um where they just leave there and they don't even make it to your website or is it all really good but then your website's ass and there's nothing to help hold customers Customers um, get their emails or anything like that or just help um, convert them you're not giving them any sort of discount or anything like that uh, so again guys, there's so much in that little funnel in the marketing funnel like how how your brand is perceived that that kind of plays into the ad copy for the shout outs and then your website like how just how you're branding your dropshipping store because again you don't want your store to look like a dropshipping store you want to look like a full unique organic genuine brand 
okay and that's what you want to give off okay and like that, that doesn't mean you have to sell products expensively no you can have an awesome amazing brand that sells dirt cheap products okay that's what i did you just have to make sure it's a quality brand it doesn't just look like a random site that someone threw up like in three hours and started trying to get people to buy okay because that that's probably what a lot of you guys are doing right you just make a site throw some products on and like try and get people to your website to purchase and it's not working okay now you gotta ask yourself why it's not working okay um again the marketing funnel that's how you get all the eyeballs and everything to your website so that i I, like, I think personally that is the most important factor in drop shipping is marketing um, so again guys look at the funnel and kind of um, experiment I guess is just the, the best way to put it you just got to experiment with the funnel and how your brand is perceived how your ads your visuals are looking because again guys the visuals you want your visuals to get their attention on the on, on, a, on a shout out right um, which then makes them read the caption the caption is supposed to send them to your Instagram business page the Instagram business page is supposed to send them to your website your website is supposed to convert them okay that's a super quick funnel there's a lot of little factors in it but that is the marketing funnel so again guys if your marketing funnel is not looking like that for Instagram um, or just however you're marketing you just make sure you have a process set in place um, but that is the funnel guys um, boom number three this is the like I feel most of you guys spend so much time on this thing that you lose out on the other things but I feel like I should mention this, but your website guys um, a lot of you that hit me up or ask questions or email me anything like that you spend so much time making your website look good that you don't spend as much time like marketing or figuring out how you're going to market or any of the other factors that I mentioned earlier or I'm about to mention is because you guys spend so much time on your website um, trying to make it look perfect that when it comes to actually getting traffic to your website or converting or building up a brand so you don't have to spend money all the time on bringing people to your site just stuff like that that, that that you lose out on that but you have a decent website but again your website might be ass like that could be the reason which is why I want to stay here um, your website just might be trash okay it might just look like a crappy drop shipping website and again if you have competitors that are doing well in the industry and in the niche that you're in look at them okay see what see how their websites are branded see kind of like the feel the vibe you get from it and just emulate okay I'm not saying rip them off and copy it because that's not ethical and I don't like I don't I don't I don't want you guys doing that because I think you can be successful doing your own like like creating your own vision and stuff like that but you just emulate see what's working for them and see how you can do it better or how you can play off of that and make something better for your own brand and the, like the image that you're trying to be perceived with your brand okay if that if that makes sense but again guys I feel like a website is how most of you like have already gotten down because all you guys spend so much time on it um, but then again if if you know if, if you if you're feeling confident that you're driving good traffic to your site but you're just not converting then you look at your website okay because it's like do you have enough apps or, or is your pricing like compatible because again if you're getting a lot a lot of traffic to your site and maybe even a lot of add to carts but no conversions that could be your pricing you might be way too high if you're not even getting add to carts then again that could be your pricing okay um, it's just it really like it's all about experimentation guys and it's like you just gotta be patient with it but once you experiment and tweak and find that little like that that perfect little spot you guys are set and I like it's a bitch to find sometimes especially just like with with all the competition and stuff out there but once you've experimented enough and once like the rest of all these little factors and funnels you have are set in place guys you guys you guys can absolutely kill it in drop shipping and that's what I'm trying to help you guys out with by listing to these little six factors that why you might be sucking at drop shipping okay all right four your back end okay and this this is more like on the product back end okay because this is for like if if you guys are getting sales but you can't get repeat sales like I want to touch on this because I don't see anyone touching on this but uh, for example you want to have good relationships with your suppliers okay this is this is pretty crucial in the, in the long term game okay so say you get a lot of orders you get a lot of volume and you need to fulfill those orders right but they take you know they can take a few weeks sometimes to deliver to customers especially if they're outside of the US which can be an issue or just some people just don't like okay now if you want to like fix that issue like on your back end on the supplier side of the back end then what you do is you develop a long-term relationship hit up your suppliers contact them via email you just find their email on Aliexpress hit them up via email and hey like hey um, I own this store I am currently you know purchasing these products from you you're getting I'm like I'm getting about X amount of orders every single month for my clients and I'm just wondering like I want to build a long-term relationship with you okay so I'm wondering one, you can negotiate lower prices to increase your margins. Okay, that, that's more your back end stuff. So you can increase your profit margins. Two, you can usually have them completely white label everything if you want. Like, if, if you have a really good relationship with you, they want to keep your business. They'll, they'll usually go out of the way to help things out. And then three, they might even be able to help you with shipping times, okay? I'm not saying every supplier will, and by all means, that's not going to be the case. But a lot of suppliers, if you're able to go on very, very good, friendly terms with them and build a long-term relationship, they're more than happy to ship things out quicker, like, especially for the, the, the processing time, okay? Because that's where some people get fucked. Like, you might have really good shipping times with the e-pack and stuff where it's like one week or something like that, right? Um, but if the processing time is seven days, 
that's two weeks now, right? So again, if you have really, really good quality relationships with your suppliers, you can fix on a lot of those things, smaller things in the back end that help with customer retention down the future and stuff like that so you can get more buyback. So all the money that you use to convert customers in the first place, you won't have to use again. Because again, it's like seven times more expensive to get a new customer than it is to get a repeat customer to purchase on your site. So keep that in mind, guys, okay? Now, number five. Okay, this is the other back end, like email marketing and stuff like that, okay? Um, and one, also, just look at your Shopify settings, guys. A lot of you guys don't really, like you haven't explored with your settings. You just, guys, again, experimentation. That doesn't just mean with marketing and outside stuff. You gotta look through your entire Shopify shit to make sure you know exactly what's happening back there, okay? Because one, you can customize email templates that customers get after they receive an order, after, um, or Order confirmation stuff like that to more help like to help you to further your brand image okay that's what I did and it just like help it just curates like the whole brand vision that you have for yourself you can make it a lot more quality if you have your own custom things that that help your brand if that makes sense I know that sounds kind of weird but just customize stuff make it to like make it more unique to your brand and less generalized um, I'm not saying completely scrap everything because a lot of that stuff is very useful information um, that Shopify gives you but just tweak things up to make it like like more more brandable to to your brand right also email marketing guys have some form of email capture or emails like opt-in on your on your site there's a bunch of free apps that you can look like um, the beaconing email coupon pop-up box or something like that right that's what I use for my first sites and that like it does its job you can offer a coupon code if they you know follow you on Instagram build social proof or like a Facebook page build social proof or input their email now you can retarget them and get them to purchase down the road with all three of those okay because again an Instagram follower it's not as strong as an email but they'll still see your Instagram post and the eventually they could end up purchasing a product okay or tagging friends that purchase a product like all that kind of stuff right so you don't want to let those people go okay because when traffic hits your store you got to think of it like like a house people are coming to your house you don't want them to just go out the back door leave and never see them again you want them to come back and do shit right okay I mean I guess a house analogy wasn't so good but you just want to find a way to keep them coming back and so giving people a discount a 10 15 20 percent discount just for them to follow you on Instagram or like a Facebook page or give them their email that is well, well worth it in the long run. Because again, if you're playing the launching game for drop shipping, if you ever have like new product launches or you 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 know you switch up your product cycle, which is also a video I have, um, I also talk about it in my course though, uh, your product cycle, you get new products, you get like stuff like that. You want new customers hopping on that and purchasing it right away. And having a solid email funnel, um, again, funnels guys, funnels is everything, but having a solid email funnel that you can use or just a newsletter or stuff like that to keep customers updated and informed and just update them whenever something new is happening with your brand, that's how you can get additional revenue like that might be a 20% increase in your revenue out of like out of, out of your after your, your monthly like sales okay I'm not saying it's gonna be that much but if you, if you start building up a fat email list and you have quality emails that you're like offering either something useful something valuable and then you offer like sales on any of the new products you bring in or something like that or new products you're about to leave and ditch right um, just doing that stuff will increase sales and again if you're averaging 200 a day if you can get you know an extra 30 or 50 a day just from email marketing, that's that's great. That's free. You didn't have to spend money on that. Um, you had to get them to your site in the first place to get their emails. But afterwards, you have their email and they'll keep going, going, going as long as they're not sending trash emails. Okay. The last one. This last one I think is is, is super super important. Okay. You haven't done enough research yet. You haven't done enough research yet. Okay. I know. I tell you guys like, hey, with my very first dropshipping site, I was doing two thousand a day in orders. But I don't always tell you guys that. Hey, before I launched. It was for a whole month. I was up till 4 a.m., 3 in the morning, working with my buddy who actually, he quit the store because he didn't like believe in the vision and he just wasn't able to stay up all those nights consistently. And um, unfortunately, like he, he, he dipped, right? And I kept going. And then after that month, after that whole like grind and literally just looking at what competitors are doing, seeing what works, studying this stuff, then we launched and we had things on lock, okay? But again, guys, you just might not have done enough research. Okay, and what I mean by that is like you got to look at your comp like your competition That's the easiest and quickest way to see what works you look at your competition and look what they're doing now one What your competition might be doing might only like they might only be able to do what they're doing because they're already big If that kind of makes sense, okay Like because they're big because they're branded and because they have money to like to play with right But you got to look at why they're doing things and if you can do the same things at a more affordable budget If you're just starting off or something like that or like the the free things that they're doing to help build a brand Or help keep their brand engaged or the things on their website stuff like that just all that kind of stuff 
how can you use that and put that on your site or your brand or just on your social media or something like what are they doing right that's working that you can emulate okay again if you're looking at their website and you want to like and and you and you love their website how it looks or you love a certain widget that they're using on apps to help convert you can look at their source code on their website that's literally what i did you look at the freaking source code and you see all right so this is the plugin they use for this particular section of the website now now you can go on shopify apps find the particular app what, like plug in whatever download it and use it implement it on your site that's literally how i found a lot of the apps that i personally used to convert people is because i was looking at my competitors like hey they're using this for this they're using this app for this reason they're using this app for this reason this app is only on the product page this app is on the home page all that kind of stuff guys so again you haven't done enough research yet that might be the reason you're not successful at drop shipping yet okay you just got to get in the game and learn it like the back of your hand Okay, okay guys, so that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little long, but I, like, I'm like i trying to give value to you guys. It is currently 1.55 in the morning, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. I am off to LA tomorrow. Hope you guys had a happy Halloween if you do like Halloween, but like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Leah, like, comment. I respond to everyone's comments and subscribe. And again, guys, the course is at a discount right now. I don't know when I'm going to increase it or take it down, actually, just because all these new products are launching. But that is it, guys. Check out the course. Link in the description. Always plug. And feel free to submit an application to the Mastermind if you are interested. But uh, this month's slots are closed. Um, you can submit an application for next month's slots if that's something you're interested in. Okay? So take care, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace.